Hey, what up, Pro Guides family? My name's Matt, and today Fortnite released another new update. So, I'm here to give you a breakdown of everything that was added in the new patch. As usual with these breakdowns, before we get into any of the interesting leaks that people have been able to rip out of the files, we're going to be going over the very limited patch notes that Epic Games sends out to all of its creators. First up are the Storm the Agency challenges that have finally arrived. I guess these challenges are going to be the replacement for any overtime challenges this season. As we explained last week, completing all these challenges is going to give you a chance to grab a shadow themed wrap, pickaxe and glider, as well as 120,000 XP. So, if you still need a straight shot of XP into your battle pass levels, or you just want some cool new skins to show off, then these challenges are a must complete. But the thing that we here at Pro Guides are most interested about are the PC controller adjustments. If you've been paying any attention to competitive Fortnite at all over the past couple of months, then you'll know that the controller aim assist issue has only been growing as time has passed. This controversy really started back in October last year when Epic decided to switch their tactics regarding lobbies and started putting PC and console players into the same level. But this was also the exact same time that Epic made some serious changes to their controller setting layout, bringing in a new suite of controller sensitivity options for people to mess around with. It was the legacy settings that really messed things up, allowing people to spam their aim button and somehow miraculously keep track of their enemies using their aim assist through the objects like bushes and sometimes even buildings. Some controller players abused this seemingly as much as they could and it clearly wasn't an intended result of the legacy settings. So in March, Epic removed Legacy and were probably betting that their controller related crossplay issues were over for good, but they were actually only just beginning. While the complaints of players had died down for a little, it wasn't long before the debate had flared up all over again. More and more competitive players were winning with controllers in the FNCS because the linear options allowed them to just beam people with ARs with what felt like little to no effort. Keyboard and mouse players were trying to learn controller because it was simply better and a lot of Fortnite streamers and pros have dropped the game because aim assists have simply ruined the competitive nature of the game. In the creator briefing, Epic have claimed that more controller adjustments are incoming and went on to say that they were keeping an eye on things and that they would keep us posted on new updates. We're not entirely sure what the changes are yet in their entirety, but early testing from the pros have shown that aim assist might have actually been buffed instead of nerfed like we all hoped for. Players now seem to be able to lock on with aim assist past 100 meters, which they previously couldn't do. It also seems to track even harder through builds now. The pro community is already unhappy with these changes and we have no idea how Epic are going to respond. But hey, on the bright side as usual, the new update has given us a bunch of fun new leaks to discuss, and it's pretty obvious that these are all to do with the event that's going to go live this Saturday. We've got the new Cyclo skin, who has a very clear Storm theme, and the Windshear Cloak, which while simple, still looks pretty awesome. By the looks of a new loading screen that has also been added to the game, it seems like Midas has either already taken out the Cyclo character and added his headgear to his collection, or he's actually about to become Cyclo since he's standing right next to the Doomsday Machine, which looks like it's about to go off. There also seems to be a new Agent Jonesy skin, which has had its textures added in this update, though we're not sure when it will actually be added to the store. A new emote has also been added to the files, which is sure to get people seriously excited. People have wanted a dance from Drake to be in the game ever since he played with Ninja back in 2018, and said that he'd write a verse about the game in a song if they added one of his moves into the game. Well, that finally is about to become a reality because there's a new emote in the game called the Toozy Slide, which is obviously the exact same name as a song that Drake released this year. Some more information regarding the upcoming event has also been picked out from the files of the game. It's a new limited time mode called device which has been added, with a comment claiming that Midas's master plan is ready to unfold. Clearly, this limited time mode is going to be the mode that we experienced the new event in. Some more strings about Fritter, the event's code name, have also been found, specifically relating to players going underwater, lending even more support to the idea that Season 3 is going to feature a partly flooded map. If that wasn't enough for you, the underwater swimming animations that were present in the Travis Scott event have been updated yet again, implying that we're probably going to see them again sometime soon. The agency itself has been updated and from the H logs, which are basically mesh files that leakers can look at, it seems like something has actually been added beneath the agency. There have also been some new meshes related to broken walls found at the agency, which means that the agency is probably going to undergo some serious damage in the event. Right guys, that's pretty much all we've got for this week's update. Since it was just a 12.61 update, we weren't really expecting much other than stuff for the event, which is basically exactly what we got. Though we were also hoping the PC controller changes were going to be, you know, Good. Either way, the next update is going to be Season 3, so I'll see you all again when that drops. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be informed of all of ProGuide's future videos.